In both After Effects and Premiere Pro, there are several ways to isolate only what you're working on so that you don't waste a lot of processing power rendering the things that you're not working on. Let's look at a few of them. In After Effects, you can solo a layer. So, for example, if for right now I don't really want to look at these four noise layers, I only want to look at my primary footage layer here in the middle, I can click this button here to solo just the footage layer. And notice that the noise layers go away. As long as this layer is soloed, the other layers won't be rendered when I'm rendering previews, which saves a lot of time. If I click again, then it's unsoloed. If I click one of these noise layers, it's soloed. You can actually have a few layers soloed together. And if you click so that no solo switches are selected, everything is unsoloed and you're back to normal operation. Another way to isolate only a piece of a composition to work on is using a region of interest. I'm going to hit the space bar to show how slowly this entire composition previews. And now, I'm going to click the region of interest button and drag just around this piece here. And now press the space bar. Notice it's going at real time, no problem. That's because After Effects is only rendering the area within the region of interest, which takes much less time than having to render the entire area. So to turn the region of interest off, just click the button again. If you have a region of interest set, you can resize it by dragging, and then turn it back off again. Similar to the region of interest, but applying in time, is the work area. This is the work area bar, this gray bar here that ends with these two yellow blocks. The work area bar defines the area that will be rendered if I do a RAM preview. Notice it's only within the work area bar that the green RAM cache is filling up, and once it's filled up, that's the only part that plays. I'll stop that. Now, the work area bar is ignored if I have from current time set. Now that it's selected, notice where the current time indicator is outside of the work area bar. If I start a RAM preview, it starts from the current time indicator. And I'll deselect that. Premiere Pro also has a work area bar. Let's have a look at that. Press Alt-Tab to go over to Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, here's the work area bar. Right here. If I drag the ends, I can adjust it. And in Premiere Pro, the primary use of the work area bar is for rendering previews. If I go to Sequence, Render Effects in Work Area, or Render Entire Work Area, this is the work area that's being referred to. So, Render Entire Work Area, click, and video preview files are being generated. And they'll only be generated within this work area, as shown by the green. A quick note about preview files. Whenever you see a yellow bar in Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro is telling you this will probably play back in real time without needing a preview file. If you see red, that means this will probably not play back in real time without a preview file. So if you have a yellow bar, there's probably no purpose in generating a preview file as I just did there, which I just did for demonstration purposes. However, if you're not getting smooth playback, you might as well go ahead and generate a preview file. One thing to keep in mind is that even though you can use preview files on output, this is not usually recommended because the preview files are created at lower quality and with a different codec than you are likely to be using for your final output. Another relatively simple way to only work on a certain item at a time is to use the visibility switches, these little eyeballs. If you turn it off, you only see the underlying layer, which in this case is a low opacity pond layer. And if we switch over to After Effects, we see very much the same thing. Alt-Tab to go back to After Effects. And here, we can use the eyeball switch to just turn these layers off momentarily. Somewhat similar to what we did with the solo switch, but a bit more of a brute force method. In general, as you're working in either Premiere Pro or After Effects, try to work on only one piece at a time so that the program is not constantly trying to render and use everything in your composition or sequence, whether you 
define only a small area temporally with the work area, or define only a small area spatially with the region of interest, or define only a few layers with the solo or video switches. Just be focused on your work. It'll save you time.